Hey guys, Nate here. I just wanted to uh, talk about something here. Something that happened, uh, well, to be precise, happened on the the twenty. Was it the twenty second? Was it or was it twenty third? Oh, I can't remember now. Dang it. <laughs> okay, yes, it was twenty second. I remember now. On the twenty second. I met this guy on a app that he came across me and said hi to. First conversation he started with me before I had to initiate it. I always have to initiate these things. But he initiated it with me. And we started talking and started talking. And this was on January 22nd of uh, this year. And me and him have been growing closer and closer and... I just can't imagine why so many people out there are looking for more than just a, are looking for less than a relationship. Why people are looking for purely sex or for purely they get that booty or the get that dick. Why guys want that more than a relationship where you can share your emotions, you can be open with someone. You can share your deepest, darkest secrets and not be worried about them hating you or saying, talking bad about you. To have that type of relationship is priceless. There is no amount of money or amount of anything that can be can, can replace this type of relationship where you are honest and the, your partner is honest with you or boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever you are, whatever you have. So I ask you, you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm not saying you have to look for them, but let's say you're that kind of guy or that kind of girl or whatever that uh, is looking for sex and not looking for any relationship or uh, stuff like that as far as like a boyfriend or a girlfriend goes. Why do you, why do you deprive yourself of that by putting yourself on the market as a slut, a skank, a man whore. Why do you put yourself out there to have sex and possibly get an STD or risk all that? I mean, here's the one issue I have with these hookup apps like um, Bender or um, whatever, is just about everyone on these apps are obviously looking for a hookup, or obviously looking for a one-night stand. And then you have that one person a million who's open, honest, and is looking for a relationship, not looking, and is willing to wait, say, if he's on the other half of the world from you. His person, if you have a person who's willing to wait for you as you're willing to wait for him, then... There are good people out there. There are good guys, good girls out there that are looking for a relationship, looking for a good, honest, open relationship, real relationship. And that's what I found. The guy's name who I'm dating is named Alwyn, A Y L W I N, and I am head over heels for him. I <laughs> hate say. say say it that way. I am deeply in love and hoping that my, my judgment isn't clouded, but I trust him. And he trusts me. And uh, he trusts me so much that he told me about this one guy he's been seeing for about a month. And he's breaking it up with him. He's breaking it off. And he told me he'd be a few hours, right? So I'm like, okay, so you'll be gone for a few hours. I will wait for you. And it's been longer than a few hours, and a little worried about his safety. I don't think he would cheat on me. I don't think he's that kind of person. I just am worried about him right now. It's apparently 1.18 in the morning his time. I told him not to go to his place. And uh, it's been like six, it's been five, six hours since we talked last, and What we have is great, and hoping it's not over.
hoping it wasn't just a fantasy. Hopefully it wasn't just a dream, but it's real. And I am worried that my uh, friend might be either in trouble or whatever. There's no way. There's no reason for me to think that. Just my feelings, you know. He said it'd be three, four hours, but it's been longer than six hours, actually, approximately. I really like this guy. I don't want to get my heart broken again. I also don't want to be dumped and not told of why you're breaking up. Why there's a breakup or not. That's happened to me too many times where I've been left without closure. And, um, so me and all of them have been dating since the 22nd of the first of the month, or first of the year. First month of the year, and I'm worried. I'm hoping he's okay. I will post an update saying that he's okay. Hoping he didn't do anything, or hoping he wasn't forced into anything. Like I was worried about, concerned about, because this guy obviously wants more than just a relationship, much less than a relationship. He did it for sex. And I proved that point with Owen. And now I'm just praying that he's okay. Praying that nothing bad happened. Praying that he just simply went to bed. I would understand that. They would. But I'm just worried. I hate being worried. <laughs> That's how much I care for this guy that I'm worrying for him. Well, he's probably in bed, just passed out for a long day. For all I know. Anyway, this is neat. Just wanted to put what my thoughts out there on the YouTubes. And you guys feel free to comment all you want. I will be responding. And I will hopefully um, get back in communication with Owen, hopefully, here soon. Till next time.